My name is Colin Vieira. My name is Matt McAndrew. We are in Rain City Drive. You are getting an exclusive sneak peek at the Remade in Misery Tour with Memphis Mayfire from Ashes to New, Wolves at the Gate, and us. And this is our home away from home. And we're excited to show you guys. All right, so we're in the, the captain's suite of uh, our home right now. We got- Lap of luxury, people. It's luxury, it's luxury. We got the, the touch screen up here. Um, we're always listening to the classics. Let's see what we got going on right now. We got a. Uh, oh, yeah. I've been married a long time ago. Like I said, the classics. Where did you One of our biggest from? influences by by far. All right, and uh, so we usually we, we switch off driving. We don't we don't want person to drive too much. Get a little get a little tired on the road. Things get scary, especially when Matt's driving. Yeah, I will say like I I do help drive. But I'm hoping one of these days I will do bad enough that I will get fired from driving. That would be great for me. Yeah, it's close. It's, we're, it's we're close. Really, we're really close to that right now. So we hit that speed bump this morning. I was like, oh. Yep. Yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> so over here we got the the most probably one of the most important things we have in this vehicle. The um, flux capacitor. The flux capacitor. This, now this is if you want to go back in time, fix any shit that went wrong, or in the future. Um, this is the thing right here. Slash charge your devices. And all you have to do is press this one little button right there and wow. the magic happens. See that? Everything's charged, all your problems are fixed. And uh, also we got, what do we got up here? What's in this box? Yeah, what is that? This is the MXR Analog Innovations box that we, everybody has on a tour, right? Yeah, it's also crucial for time travel. So in here we got a lot of cables. <laughs> the one that's... This also, this also goes to the flux capacitor. Um, you know, just in case that thing goes down, we have our cables. And we do have a lot of extra jimmy rods in case something goes wrong. The jimmy engine. rods are crucial in a, in a vehicle like this. Yeah, we're all trained mechanics, so if anything goes wrong, like, you know. Just make sure your blinker fluid's filled, filled and <laughs> yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty good, good to go. Exactly. I will say that this vehicle has been pretty nice. Like, the car play is nice. The AC works. Huge plus. Very well. It works very well. Huge plus. That's honestly... That is probably the most important part. Probably the most important part of the vehicle for sure. Even if we were going to be stuck on the side of the road, AC, crucial. We got our clip bar wrappers. We always keep the wrappers because that's... Uh, it's like a collectible thing for us. Like sure. just, you know, we're going to go ahead and frame that at the end of the tour. We boxes full of these. <laughs> this, is, this is my little crossbody bag. It's kind of my... I started rocking these on tour just as like my little super essentials. I got like my passport, my in-ears. This thing like stays on my bot, hand sanitizer, sharpie. Lightsaber. Lightsaber. So it stays on me when I'm fighting the Sith or when I'm rocking out on stage. Um, yeah, it's like any, anything that like, I could lose probably everything else, but I can't lose this shit in here. So if you would like to mug me on the tour, this will do the most damage and you'll I'll pay the highest price. I think we got some blinker fluid right here actually. Oh yeah, perfect. We always keep the blinker fluid yeah. handy. We're gonna need to top that off. As you can see we have uh, some some empty ones right here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's uh that's pretty much it for the, the captain's chair, I believe. Um, you know, your your handy backpacks, your uh, snacks right here, dude. And snacks right here as Pita well. Pita chips. Pita chips. We got um. This is really what gives us our energy on stage. The, exactly. The honey the honey made uh, graham crackers. The whole tour is brought to you by Honey Made. Exactly. We we, we like to stay healthy. Got like a lot of nice little plant-based options, you know, yeah, keeping it, keeping it conscious. All the, all the snacks you would imagine on a uh, high capacity vehicle like this. We have seven people with us, um, seven grown ass adults packed in here. Um, the five of us in the band that we have Ashley, who's our photographer slash merch person. And we have Raven, who is our front of house engineer. Um, so you have like, this seat that goes back pretty good. Some people seem to not complain about sleeping there. We have this as an option. We have this as an option, which is really kind of crappy because you have the space here. We usually like to pack a backpack. Yeah. Or something here that would make this a little bit more comfortable in a sleeping situation, which what? we are always in a sleeping situation. Yeah, constantly. When, I, when we first got this thing, I, I took one lay down on this and the seat belt like dug into my spleen and I was like, never again. So. That brings us to the back. Well, fun, fun fact before we get to the back. A couple people also, a couple of lucky people get to sleep in the back. It happens to be me, <laughs> Matt, and Ashley. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, we, but, we, but we try not to let on how much better the back is. We don't want anybody getting any grand ideas. Secret, the biggest secret of 
of this tour right now is how comfortable the back is. And it's not even that comfortable, but it's probably better than this. So anytime you're on tour, it, it's, a, it's a balance between personal space and comfort. Now for me, I'm, I, for me, comfort is everything. Personal space is like nothing. If I had to spoon, like for you, for example, if you were to come on the tour, I know I just met you, but it, if I had to cuddle with you, but it meant that I could be in the most comfortable place, I would opt for that option always. And so you'll see like Raven, our, our front of house also shares that feeling where he's just like, like, yeah, we'll split a bed, we'll do the bunk beds or we'll do here or whatever. There's other people that really want their personal space and then they wind up sleeping on this bench that I don't want. So great, everybody's ha everybody's, I wouldn't say happy, but everybody's, you know, making, making choices. They're making do, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Well, fun fact, right before we started this tour, we took this whole seat out. Oh yeah. And put it in our trailer. Um, and it, it actually fit perfectly. And we were gonna do a, a nice little mattress pad down here and have a couple yeah. more people be able to sleep down here and cuddle. Um, but then we found out our trailer was way too small with our gear, yeah. our merch, and everything yeah. else is loaded in there. So and this is back in here and it's here to stay. It, it's, it's nice to have a seat for everybody if you wanted to, like, you know, going going through borders and stuff like that or whatever. Yeah. Also, we've we've done, you know, we've done little tours with makeshift bunks, we've done sprinters, we've done whatever. We, the I think our crowding achievement, I wish you could see it, was the little short bus, we had a short school, bus. school bus that yeah. we were borrowing and it had makeshift bunks on either side and then for the extra person we had a hammock so somebody was like suspended in air swinging swinging back and swinging forth. when we when we had the hammock it would sink during the night and i'd be on the top bunk and i have to go to the bathroom i'd have to crawl down and then like crawl on my stomach you know it was a straight up army crawl throughout, <laughs> throughout the little mini school bus that we had and by the way the Shoes school bus and was snacks painted or wrapped yeah. with, uh, it was some summer festival with yeah. like Buck Cherry and yeah. girls in swimsuits. So every yeah, neighborhood that we had to stay in. Big, 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 big beer bottle. It looked like we were just like the quintessential, like, yeah, rock. We, it was a nuisance for everywhere we went. So uh, we, this thing's a little bit more sleek, a little bit more our style, I think. But um, do appreciate the bunks and the small bus. So we, we do have some things up here. We have napkins. I thought that was a good idea. We have waters. You always want to have waters on deck. Um, Many waters. We have uh, two cases back underneath the seats right now. You can right never now. have enough. Uh, it, usually, even with this, we get to a new place. I'll go to CVS and buy like the biggest waters I can. Just I'm singing all the time. Um, the trash. This is kind of clutch. This is Felipe's steamer. Now, when I first met these guys, I was big on steaming my clothes. And everybody was like, what do you, what are you steaming your clothes for? You both be in a rock and roll band. But now everybody's on board and it looks nice and I have wrinkles on stage. There you go. The trash can is pretty crucial too because it, seven people living in this van right now, uh, it gets sturdy so quick. <laughs> it's in, in five minutes, this thing could be filled with trash. Oh yeah. Unless you have a trash can that you gotta make sure you're, every stop you're, you're, you're throwing the trash away, you're, you're keeping up with that because it is a, it's a very important part if you wanna live a semi-cleanly life on tour. I will, you know what else, dude? Everybody has great hygiene on this tour, great personal hygiene. Haven't noticed any crazy smells or anything like that. Point. Wet wipes. Mm. Now, wet wipes are uh, what some a lot of people call the tour shower. Mm. And without these things, we would be taking a lot more showers, huh? I guess so. <laughs> yeah. These are these are also pretty much as crucial as the garbage can, I would say. I'm also a big fan of this. This is great. Okay, yeah, this is uh, Ashley's little uh, um, Ashley's doing here. We uh, any. There's not a lot of space, as you can see, so anything like that can hang off the side of a, the back of a chair that you could put things into. Crucial. Uh, it, it prevents them from being on the floor. Like our trusty lollipops here, which the drivers use when they're driving overnight for a little sugar, a little sugar boost to keep them awake so we all don't die. They were used by the, um, the uh, British Air Force during World War II to stay awake during um, covert operations. I'm just kidding, but yeah. So, and then speaking of this, we've got something special for you in the back. So first rule in the back, this is uh, the, the sleep station, um, no shoes, which brings me to our shoe rack. And this gets very handy because you wanna keep the shoes off the floor, keep the floor yeah, clear. This is, this is like some space age tech right here, dude. That was so clutch. Very clutch, very clutch. But we have the four inch thick, 
memory foam mattress underneath the sheet over here. This uh, keeps our backs in prime position. Again, you got to make sure people don't, you know, get too long of a lay down here and realize what they're missing out on. You don't let anybody else on the tour know <laughs> what they're missing out on. They don't even know there's a memory foam thing back here. <laughs> they think it's just some rocks and gravel. <laughs> yeah, and we like to keep it that way. But yeah. so we have another back seat little compartment here that has like I said our, our, our face wipes our more face wipes uh, more face wipes we have our sanitizer we have little midnight snacky snacks that uh, we try not to eat but we eat them all the time we got napkins we got water bottles Smell the little chargers in the back we also have the uh, whatever Classic. these things are called but these sleep mask dude these do the trick when the sun's out and you're trying to get some sleeps some z's in the pillows sleeping bags with a little bit extra cushion which you know we keep that on the down low like exactly we don't want people to know how good we have it back here now we're, we're really living in luxury with this one because we have the charge charger ports all throughout the back actually all throughout the whole thing we got the ha uh the the clothes hammock for you know these are like our late night clothes get off stage take the jacket off sure take the pants off put on the uh See what we got here. Put on the Star Wars long shirt, little night night shirt. Yeah, that's like the other thing too. You're always you're always trying to get changed for the show, and so you can keep like uh, usually I'll keep like a pair of Birkenstocks in here or something or whatever, and you're always you know put stuff back in the suitcase. We do have these nice little wheel wells here, so it's not quite as long as you think. We don't want things to be too comfortable back here. <laughs> yeah. so we have to have the. If you have six to, inch. you could fit four people back here this way we haven't done it yet if you want to be really comfortable you can go long ways um, but yeah it's but again I'm 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 all about sacrificing personal space for personal comfort so I am back here living it up the other people are like I don't want to breathe on anybody I don't want anybody to breathe on me I'm going on the bench more power to them yeah so me and Matt are cuddling with Ashley <laughs> And um, it's uh, it's good back here. It's it, hopefully they don't see this video, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's pretty decent back here. I have to say. Exactly. Some more blinker fluid. A little bit left in this one. And uh, of course, Everybody you got to say it's got to say healthy on tour. And if you get a little sick, we got the night quill. We got the day quill. Um, yeah, I think that. Uh, oh, and uh, obviously, you know, all the passports back here. Passports, crucial. And some more. Uh, little... I actually forgot we were going to Canada on this run, and I just so happened to bring mine. Thank God. There you go. See, that's a really nice look. Yep. Now, sometimes those do make it on stage. You know, if the lights are particularly bright, you know, you need to you need to protect your eyes. Thanks, guys, so much. We are Rain City Drive. We appreciate you kicking it with us. This is the Digs, and uh, you can find us anywhere at Rain City Drive. New album out now called Rain City Drive. Yes, sir. You just need to know those three words, and then you're set. Rain City Drive. Nice this, and easy. This is the Rain City Drive, Drive Mobile. Drive Mobile, see that?